Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Stacy here with another unboxing for you all. And I think we're going to get right into it in one second. Sorry, I just need I've made myself some Club of Magic Hour Tea with my new teapot. And I gotta say, I love my new teapot. I think it is so cool. So if you haven't seen it, I did the unboxing of it um, on our hangout session. And if you haven't tried their tea, their tea yet, you're missing out on life. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Those of you that have bought it and tried it, I know you love it. I just know you do. It is some good stuff. But before we get into this unboxing today, I just, I'm kind of excited because I will have a outside patio as of later on today. I have the lovely um, to sit custom concrete men coming in today and they are gonna build me a patio and I will have a fireplace and I am so excited because I think I'm gonna be doing my videos outside pretty soon. The weather will be getting nicer and it'll be just nice to be out in nature while I do these unboxings, be more in my element. Even though my sunroom is, I was gonna say peaceful as the airplane you can hear <laughs> driving over, driving, flying over my house. But for the most part, it's very peaceful over here. I love hearing like the birds in the morning. As I said that, they were tweeting. Um, I have Finn behind me. <laughs> you got an itchy on your ear? Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. I want to shout out to them because I know they're going to do an amazing job. And if you want to see something what their work looks like, I will either later on tonight when they're finished or tomorrow after they seal it so you can get like the full effect of it. I'm going to do like a couple of short videos with before and after. I already have my before video. I did it yesterday real quick. It's like 30 seconds just to kind of show you what it looks like as they formed it. And then I will have my after after today. So I am super excited for that. So yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to Mark Palo for giving me this hat. I freaking love it. I asked, I was like, well, can you make those in <laughs> some form of purple? And I asked and I shall receive. He's awesome. So yeah, shout out to them. They do amazing work and you will all soon see that amazing work. Cause like I said, I will be posting it on um, my shorts videos. So yeah, so after that, let's just get into it. So this box is from Spiritual Goodies. I've only done this box one other time. It was kind of like an eh for me when I unboxed it. So you're probably like, Stacey, then why the hell are you getting it? Well, my daughter loved it. So she basically took everything except for two things out of that box, which is fine because I actually have a little, um, I'm getting sidetracked. That's so much I want to tell you. I have a box that I am putting all items that I know I won't use away. And I think I'm going to start doing like a small giveaways. So I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet because I've never done something like that. And it's not like I'm rich and I'm just going to give out money. No, but the things that I'm not going to use, like say I get an Oracle deck in and it might be opened, like you'll see me show it and open it. But if I know I'm not going to use it, why not give it to somebody that might use it or there's certain candles, certain oils I can't use because they give me like migraines and stuff. So stuff like that I'll be putting in the giveaway, even like pieces of maybe jewelry that neither I or my daughter don't want, just like stuff like that. So I think I'm going to start doing something like that. Um, just a little something, you know, to say thank you to my subscribers. A lot of you have been with me since the beginning and I truly thank you. There's a few of you on here that comment on almost all my videos and I truly, truly appreciate that. So I just wanna let you guys know, like I really do appreciate that. That's why if you notice, I try to respond back to everybody, even if it's just a quick thank you, I want you to know like I see you, I hear you and I thank you, you get me? So yeah, so that's just a little something that's gonna be coming. Um. I even thought about doing like $5 gift cards inside the giveaways, but then I'm like, everyone's from like all over. So like, I like Starbucks. Some people might like Dunkin' Donuts. There might be a mom and pop shop. So I don't really know. I guess I'll see on who the winner is. And maybe I'll ask them like, what's your favorite place to get lunch or what's your favorite coffee or something. But that'll be like later on, but it is coming soon. Cause I already have, quite a little bit of stuff um, in my box. 
But uh, enough of that. Let's get to spiritual goodies. So the reason why I am doing this, I signed up for a six month plan. As you know, I put Mindful Souls on hold and that was a box. Basically, my daughter loved all the jewelry and she would take all the jewelry from it, which I don't mind. At least it was going somewhere. So I put them on hold and I decided to get this box because she really enjoyed it. She enjoyed the book that they gave. She's been writing in it. It kind of, it's, it's nice, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'll get that box and then whatever, because I find it kind of like, it's not a bad box. It's like, to me, it's towards a younger um, crowd. So I told her, I was like, well, whatever I like from the box and I'm paying for it, I'm going to keep and then you can have the rest. So that's how we're going to do that. And that is this one, Spiritual Goodies. So right now, if you sign up with them, you will get a free tarot, is it tarot cards or oracle? It might be tarot or oracle deck. They have a couple you can choose from. So if you sign up, like I did, I did the six months because the boxes were cheaper and they did not charge me the full amount up front. You know, like sometimes they're like six months, so they charge you like the 200 and whatever dollars or 100 and whatever dollars. Um, spiritual goodies doesn't do that. They're like, okay, six months, they're gonna give you that cheaper price, but it's gonna be still billed to you monthly, so it's affordable. So I liked that. So I was like, oh, I hopped on that train. I'm like, I'm saving like five dollars a box. Why not, right? Plus I got the free gift. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the link down below. Um, I don't get anything for it. I'm just helping you guys out. It's just what they're doing right now. They're giving a free Oracle deck. And like I said, if you sign up for like six months, 12 months, whatever, they still bill you monthly. It's not gonna be a whole chunk taken out of your checking account or taken off your credit card. So that's what I loved about that. So yeah, after I just talked for almost 10 minutes, let's get to the box, Stacy. And it's early in the morning and I'm still like, <laughs> hold on, let me sip a, sip some tea. Um, I love that tea. That green tea is amazing. I actually have to get some more. So, we open up and you can see my free deck is on top. And if you're like me, I didn't follow directions. So I ordered the six month plan cashed out, whatever. And then I realized, wait, how do they know which Oracle deck I want? My stupidity, you're supposed to pick your plan and then go back and pick which Oracle card deck you want. And then it just, it comes off free. Like they tell you on the front page how to do it. <laughs> your girl didn't read the directions. She was just like, boom, 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 boom. I think I was doing it like right before work or something. So I actually emailed them and I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't pick my deck. Can I please have this one? And they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. And they literally shipped it out the next day. So I've actually had this box for a little bit. Oh, you probably heard me talking about it. It's just, I haven't had time. And then I ended up getting the other two boxes. So I wanted to do those first. So yeah, so enough of that. The, de uh, the deck I picked was the Enchanted Lenormand Oracle. And I didn't think it was gonna be this big but we will open this at the end and I'll read about this at the end, okay? So then the box, it looks like this, Spiritual Goodies. You might remember this from the last time I had it. It's a cute box, but see what I mean? It's to me, it's more like, like a younger crowd, I don't know. But there is probably stuff in here that I want too. Oh, it's taped, it is taped. Why this tape so tight? My scissors don't even want to. Come on, you can do this. Here we go. All right. Who knows? Is it G? Finn's just chilling. This is like his spot. All right. So when we open this, this is what it looks like. I remember getting one of these the last time. And I did know what the um, theme was gonna be because it lets you know up front what the theme of that month is gonna be. And the month of May is angels, which you might have heard me talk about, which I love. So I was like, yes. I am so loved and supported by the angelic realm. And that's just like a little card. It's really cute. All right. And then it gives us a card with our archangels. And it says Michael, Chamuel, Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel, Zedekiel, and is it 
Jofio. I'm not sure how you pronounce that last one. But if you want, at the end, I will read these. So if you want to learn um, about them, I'll read that at the end. Then we have what is in the box, and it says the same thing. May affirmation, I am so loved and supported by the angelic realm. And then inside, I believe, is what? Yes, inside is the contents, and then the back, it would say, like, you must ask. Then number two, allow, three, believe, four, perceive. And then it has an angel meditation on the back, too. So that's really cool. That's my other cat <laughs> playing with bottles inside my house. Oh, that is so pretty. <laughs> I can't with her. So we have this pouch. It's a, it's a very big pouch, like my whole hand fits in there. So we have this nice pouch with the angel and it's embroidered. It's really pretty. You see that? It's embroidered on there. So I like that. We have that. And then we have our doodle noodles. So, I mean, it's cute packaging, but we all know how I feel about these incense. But this box is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other boxes too. So I'm not even gonna complain about that. I mean, it went with their theme, whatever. They'll just go to my hubby. I give them all my cheap incense. <laughs> I keep all the good ones that are like handmade and stuff. I'm like, here you go, you can, uh, you can have these. Cause he smokes in the garage and I hate that smell. So he'll light them in the garage. These actually don't smell bad. Divine incense to please your guardian angel. Heaven is very organized. All celestial beings have a specific work to do. Each one of these magnificent beings works work for the many rays of God that exist. Each archangel has a speciality and is dedicated to it. We can invoke them according to what we need. Any of the seven archangels can guide the human being in the spiritual process of each person. So that's cool. Like I said, not my favorite incense, but we won't complain. It will go to a good home. All right, next we have Kanu Dream Mist Pillow Spray. Oh, is this to like help you sleep? I had one of these a long time ago, but I hated the smell of it. It said it was like lavender, but it was like potent and bleh. I don't remember who it was by, but. Come on. Let's see what this smells like. Dream Mist Pillow Spray. Does it have, okay. We have water whatever that word is i can't even see this i don't know i think i want to say chamomile oil something root oil glycerin glycol alcohol castor i don't know my nose is so itchy right now we're gonna shake it up i'm gonna spray it right on the box and see what this smells like I'll do my best because <laughs> we know how good I am at smells. Spray a little bit too much there, Stacy. That's a light scent. Is that eucalyptus or something? What is that? I don't know because the like, I'm kind of smelling cardboard at the same time. You know what? I'm gonna spray it on something that's fabric. Let's do this. It's very light, whatever it is. It's kind of like, kind of smells like tea. Maybe like a, maybe it's chamomile in here. I don't know. It smells like tea and like, I don't know. To me, it smells like tea. That's all I can give you. But all these words are just like, you know, I, I see castor oil. Um, glyco. Yeah, I don't know. Something root oil starts with a V, but I don't know if it says vetiver. I really don't know what this is. But to me, it smells like tea. It smells like chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. 
That's what that smells like to me. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad, not bad. All right, next we have Guidance. Angelite, Selenite, and Amethyst. Oh, it's like separated. Oh, it is separated. We have our baggies of chips. So we have bags of Amethyst. Selenite. Oh, that's real selenite. No wonder. I'm going to open that up. And then when I say angelite, which was probably this blue one. I'll tell you what, though. The smell coming from this jar, I don't know, whatever. Um, it smells like Play-Doh, but like worse. <laughs> whatever the smell is. Um... I don't know if this is selenite piece. Oh, yeah, actually. Yep. It has a coating on it, which is kind of making me like. Oops, I just dropped a piece. But yeah, this is this is real selenite. Okay. But there is like a I don't know, like some kind of like coating on it. I'm definitely gonna have to like rinse these chips off. Because they all look like they have like some kind of like powdered coating which is weird but yeah so we have that jar I'm never gonna get these back in there but this jar fit these three bags how they did it I don't know but that's not going back in there oh I thought this must be this is just in the bag I don't know well maybe it's for this I think this is an oil That's what this could be. Probably by the Galoka. Galoka Galuka. Ah, oh, it is. Archangel Ch Chamuel. 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 Oh, yeah. Is that what this is? Oh yeah, because you um switched out. But let me tell you, this is closed and I can smell it, and it's it's not for me. I don't I don't even know what's in it. But it, it doesn't it doesn't smell good to me. It's not something I would use. Ah, no. Ah, that smell's gonna be like with me now. Alright, and it looks like we only have two more things. Right. Let me just make sure. I know what the last thing is. That was like a um spoiler alert on their page, but honestly, it was the reason why I got the box, so it's okay. And inside of here, I was like, oh, that feels so funny. <laughs> I grabbed it by the point. I was like, what is that? This is actually kind of cute. Oh, it's a pendulum. Is it? I think it is. This is actually really cute. I actually really like this. And it looks like this. Actually, it looks glass. I don't think that's real amethyst or whatever is trying to be in there. It, to me, it looks like little glass pieces. I don't know. I'm trying to get it so my stupid light. But yeah, it looks kind of like, yeah, it looks like glassy pieces to me. All right, so that, but it's cute. It is cute. It's got a nice weight to it. I like it. It's cute. And it came in this little pouch. I'm going to read about all these things. And last but not least, and this is the reason why I did go... I just thought this was so pretty. Nice ceramic angel dish. See, it's flat on the side, so you can put it 
wherever like that and then you can excuse me you could even put like these pieces of um stones that they gave you inside of there make it look pretty but i just thought that was like really pretty very nicely detailed on both sides it's it's not heavy but it's a it's a nice piece of ceramic i mean i just i just really liked this i love angels my grandma always talks about angels and stuff so yeah so that's what we received now finn went over there to go sit in my boxes i haven't put away I'm gonna beat you. I'm really not. Don't come at me. That's just what I say. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We received seven things in this box. So the Archangel Essential Oil Blend, it retails at $8. And I'm guessing that's right. Does it say Archangel? Yes. That's this. Each bottle contains 100% natural and undiluted essential oils. These blends are made with the appropriate essence for the individual Archangel, perfect to invoke Archangel's energy, healing, and clearing, enchants divine communication, promote high vibrations and uplift your mind, body, spirit, and sacred space. You will randomly receive one blend. Michael, Raphael, Shofiel, Gabriel, Zadigio, Chamuel, or Uriel. And I got Chamuel. Dab a couple drops on your wrist. No, thank you. Mix your essential oils with the carrier oil and can apply it like a moisturizer. Use in your diffuser. So maybe other people got better smelling ones. I mean, maybe if I dilute it, it'll smell a little bit better, but it's just like, I know essential oils are strong like that, but I don't know, it smells kind of like too, kind of smells like tea tree oil and like, too flowery i think that's what i'm smelling tea tree let me actually take it out maybe i'll get a better whiff i'm probably gonna end up smelling this everywhere and i'm gonna be so upset ah yeah it smells like tea tree oil to me honestly that's the best description i can get you give you if you got shame well all right angel wings bag which I absolutely adore. I think this is so cute to store things in. They're saying this is a $5 value. I don't know about that. This black velvet bag is perfect to store tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, ritual tools, and much more. It measures five by seven and features blue angel wings. Blue. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm so, I really thought it was white, but it's like a baby blue. Really, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, it is blue. <laughs> blue? What do you mean? Uh, allow this simple bag to be reminded that angels are also available to you. Guidance stone chips. That was the jar of the three bags that we received. They're saying that is a $12 value. And it says this crystal can kit contains stones to help you make connections to the angelical realm a little bit easier. Angelite, known as the angel stone, and assist you in communicating with the angels in higher realms. It can help you receive guidance, wisdom, and insight from the spiritual realm. Amethyst, amethyst, why can't I speak? Hold on. I think I'm speaking too much. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Amethyst can sweep away worries, fears, and can encourage you to think clearly and to trust your inner wisdom. Amethyst also opens the crown chakra and connects you to higher energies. Selenite, a high vibrational stone that aligns you with higher consciousness. This gemstone activates your connection with ancient wisdom and knowledge. It helps you tune into what your angels and guides want you to know. All right, then pendulum with amethyst and clear quartz is a $10 uh, value. I honestly, I mean, I guess it could be little pieces in there. It just looks a little glassy to me. But I mean, I, I don't know, it could be. It just doesn't look real to me, like, but I can't be 100% sure. But anyway, they're saying this is a $10 value. Pendulums help you connect with your intuition and spirit, spiritual guidance by picking up on subtle vibrations. 
Amethyst provides mental clarity and clear quartz is a balancing and cleansing stone. And then it tells you what to do, how to cleanse it and all that jazz. Um, Archangel incense sticks, $5. It's like loca. I mean, they're incense sticks. I'm not gonna read about those. The pillow mist, they're saying this is 15 bucks. Oh, it's made in the USA. I didn't even see that firsthand. I do like the little moon. It is a big size. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know, $15 though? I don't know, inflation. Infused with therapeutic grade essential oils, this pillow spray blends lavender, chamomile, see I told you it smells like tea, and vetiver root, vetiver root, that's what that said. Together to relieve anxiety, improve sleep, and encourage feelings of calm, spritz it all over your bedroom pillows and linens to nod off quickly and promote peaceful restorative, uh, restorative sleep. Sleep is a great time to, to connect with the angels. All right, angel wing dish, $10. Honor your connection with the angelic realm and your guardian angels with this lovely angel wing altar dish. Angels are always available to you, but most of us forget to connect with them. To help remind you, create a separate angel altar or maybe add different angel items to your current one, like this angel dish. Not only does it serve as a visual reminder to connect with the angelic realm, but you can also add the guidance, crystal chips, other stones, affirmation, notes, cards, or anything previous to help you connect with these celestial beings of light and love. I actually am looking for a table for the other side of my bench over here because I do want another altar because I feel like I don't have enough because that table is just like way tinier than I expected it to be, the one that I meditate at. So I keep like bringing the statues back and forth like you know what i mean i keep like half an hour like redo it kind of like so i am looking for another table for over there that's a little bit bigger but yeah spiritual teacher spotlight all right so then there's just some info on the back on angel meditation and stuff i'm not gonna read all that to you i will bore you to death i've already had you here for 30 minutes but let's get to the good part well that, that box wasn't bad. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to give to my daughter because she don't do incense. Maybe I'll give her the pillow spray. Maybe she'll go to bed. I don't know all the time. All right. Let's, ooh. I like the way this opens. Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick again. I feel like I'm getting sick. I like it. It's like a little pull out. Ooh. The Enchanted Leonard Maid Mand Orb. All right. We have our book on top. Oh, this is a thick. I thought these cards were going to be huge. They're actually not at all. Look how thick this book is. There is a lot of info in this book. The back says, wait, is that the same as what this says? No. Enter the world of the enchanted Lenormand with this superb new interpretation of the classic Oracle deck created by reno renowned Cardomancer, Cartomancer, Caitlin Matthews. While artist Virginia Lee's stunning hand painted cards capture the authentic mystery and charm of the original decks. Matthews updates the Leonard Mand Oracle for the 21st century, providing three extra cards that help readers define themselves and their relationships, as well as practical handbook offering accessible new interpretations and layouts for this uniquely revelatory oracle. Caitlin Matthews is one of the foremost contemporary experts on Leonard Mand. She drew on her personal collection of the 19th century Leonard Mand decks to devise this modern day edition. And this says in the U.S. it retails at $26.95, Canada $28.95, and the U.K. $18.99. So that's actually, this actually paid for my box, <laughs> this Oracle deck, pretty much. All right, let's see what they look like. This book is like thick. It looks like this. I thought the cards were going to be like as big as that. I'm like, oh, that's going to be so hard to hold, but they're actually tiny. They're itty bitty. OK, 
Come on. All right, so this is the back. It's got a heart, diamond. Oh, it's a four leaf clover, spear. Excuse me, and then all the suits. Oh, and then all the pictures, it's kind of like you're looking into your um, crystal ball and then you see what happens because all of them look like that. See, it's all inside crystal balls, which I think is actually pretty cool. We have a horseman, ship, house. Oh, look at the tree of life. I'm going to just show you a couple of like random ones that I pull out. <laughs> little mice, little mices. We have piapples. We have a few piapples. Some pretty flowers. Is that lilies? Oh, the sun. I'm gonna say the moon has to be next. The moon, a key, and then it's pretty cool because if you look closely, then you see a woman and she has a keyhole like right here in her chest. That's actually a really cool picture. We have some fish, an anchor. This is cool. It's like a road to nowhere. Oh, okay. Oh, and these are not in order. And then I don't know if you noticed, like the card numbers up top. You see it? So these are very interesting. I want to see what a couple. Oh, learning the art. I'm going to have to really read this. There's like so much info. Counting the pips using the diviner card. That's like a seven card layout. Through the crystal ball, key to meanings. Nine of hearts. Oh, there's combinations, depending on where it is. Oh, wow, this is like really in depth. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit to learn, that is for sure. Like, it tells you, like, all the houses. It just gives you, like, a lot, a lot of info. All right. That's pretty cool, though. I'm going to enjoy that. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this box. I mean, it is one of, like I said, it is one of my um, cheaper boxes that I will be having for at least the next six months. So I have five more of these boxes coming. Um, I kind of feel bad because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to give my daughter from this box. There really wasn't any jewelry or anything. And I'm keeping the angel wing. I don't care. I'm keeping this. I mean, it will be in my house or if I get a table, I might make an angel altar right there. But, um, yeah, I don't really know. She's too young to play with pendulums. So we're not going to give her that now, are we? <laughs> but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I have to go get ready for my day. I got to go pick up my grandson. I'm going to go hang out with him for a little bit. And then I got to cook for all these guys that are coming to make my backyard look so pretty. I can't wait. I don't know. You can kind of see like the outline right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That used to all be grass. And now it's stone <laughs> and wire waiting for concrete. So I will, like I said, post that up later. Maybe I'll do a little video of the guys working. It depends because my grandson kind of doesn't, um, I can't leave him unsupervised. He's two and he's everywhere, <laughs> like everywhere. So if I can, maybe I will get a picture of them working hard or like a quick video of them working hard if I can sneak out. But yeah, so let me know what you guys thought about this box. Like I said, I feel like it's 
I kind of feel like it's for like a younger crowd. You know what I mean? And I'm saying that because like I, I, I feel older than I am, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I don't mind this box. It's not my favorite box, but it's cute. It's it's cute. It's tight. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I basically got it for my daughter, but the poor thing's only gonna have pillow spray. <laughs> I'm like, here you go. Here's some pillow spray. Maybe I'll share some. Oh, I've got so much of these. So, and plus I have like stones everywhere. She's going to have some of these too. But we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you think about this box. If you like it, like I said, right now they're doing a deal. So you can get um, an Oracle deck yourself. And I think there's like three or four to choose from. I chose that one. That one kind of like spoke to me when I was looking at them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I probably said that five times. I'm sorry. I'm like still sleeping. I woke up super early and I wanted to go back to bed and that just didn't happen. I'm like, I have too much stuff to do. So I was like, let me go hang out with my peeps for a little bit, do an unboxing. So yeah. I'm laughing, Finn. I have my two boxes over there from the UK and he literally pushed them to the side just so he can crawl up in a ball. I can't let him. Oh my God. But yeah, until next time, I think I have, um, I have one more box coming for you guys. Yes, I do. I have the Tamed Wild box on its way. And I think that is it for this month, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's it until next month. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like it, you don't like it, you're like, eh, why you waste your money? <laughs> no, I, I don't mind this box. But yeah, until next time, many peace to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful day. Wherever you are, I hope it's beautiful like this. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees today and it's supposed to be sunny and shining. So I hope wherever you are, you get to enjoy some of this day. Go outside, feel the sun on your skin. We all need that vitamin D. And yeah, until next time, peace and love. Bye.